guys, welcome back to Kumstyle Reviews. This is TJ, and what we've got is Fans Project, their first of their Lost Exo Realm or LER series, Columpio, with his Target Master or Weapon Master, Dre Pan. And you can order yours right now at tfsource.com, but please wait till after the review and you like it, comment, all that good stuff. But, anyways, this is actually the second release of their first release. There was an exclusive version that was released at TFCon in July, just last month of this year. So really quick turnaround. Taking a look at Columpio. For those of you who have seen the exclusive version, these bronze parts, you can still say they're gold, but they're a little bit darker. But the gold plastic, we'll go with that was actually replaced with chrome on the exclusive version. So, also, taking a look at Drapan here. I'm sorry if it's pronounced Drapan, I'm not sure. Alright. Okay. And, this is actually the handle that um, Columpio uses when this turns into its axe or sword mode you actually have the option of both but unfortunately it does not go all the way down while it's in robot mode so not really obtrusive but you can't really stand him in front of other figures and stuff like that because you've got that you know staff sticking out from his back but zooming out some What's cool about him is that he can at least, like the Diaclone Rider that came with Columpio, still ride and everything like that. So, well, my hands are in front of the camera there, but make it quick. There we go. And there's that. So let's go ahead and do a quick comparison to the exclusive version. Luckily I do have both in hand here. Uh -huh. There's that. And you can see the Diaclone Rider homage that came with the exclusive version as well as the gold plating as opposed to the gold plastic. Alright, and somebody is riding in the background, sorry. But there's also red plastic on the retail version, and it's more of a cherry red metallic paint on the exclusive version. So, but they do come with the same weapons, the sword and the rifle there, with the bayonet on it. But getting these guys out of the way, we'll take a look at... I'm going to take a look at the Diclone Rider compared to Draypan. There we go. Now, just for good measure, we'll also throw in the Headmaster or the. They're all called Solarons in the Fans Project universe, but just for technical terms, he is a Headmaster. That's the one that comes with their Brainstorm or Smart Robin, as well as, I know I have it here somewhere, yeah, Steel, the Solaron that comes with um, Steel Core. That's it. So, you can see a size comparison and everything. It is definitely the biggest of the Solarons that's come with them so far, in terms of height, and I guess everything else too. Well, there's that. And both of them are pretty poseable, I'm not going to lie. You know, it's cool that this one in particular, though, comes with the weapons, the axe of its own, as well as the shield. So, it's just, overall, a more fun figure. With the added playability of the weapon mode and everything like that. So, for me, there's not really a contest, but I know there are people out there who are 
into things like Diclone and those kind of, you know, not necessarily strange, but niche homages. So, definitely somebody, something for everyone between these two. But all right, we're going to get the two of these transformed very quickly. Sorry in advance if this goes fast, but I've got to do it times two. So, you can watch my review of... The exclusive Columbia, if it is a problem. I'll at least try to keep my hands out of the way, though. Move that around. Extend the chest. These feet around. Like I said, this is the quick and dirty, so. Just making sure these are tabbed in there. I'm sorry, I'm kind of standing over the camera, so I can't exactly see what you guys can see right now. Jeez. There we go. That's what happens. Sometimes you just gotta pause real quick and think about what's going on when it comes to transforming these guys. There is number one. Make sure those return correctly. Come up straight. Okay. And get him over there. Numero dos. The nice thing about these is they have those simple yet satisfying transformations. So at least having to do them in bulk like this is not hard. Just making sure you don't miss a step more than anything. And like I said, if you guys want to see it done slower, by all means, I will. Maybe I'll just do one of those pop ups right now on the video if I remember to link you guys to the original review. in the chest on this guy? Yes. There we go. Okay. I know my hands are all kinds of in the way, but I'm working with two of them on the screen right now, and that's what it is. Standing up straight. So split like it, Jesus. All right, so, ugh. There we go. Anyway, you've got the two there. You can see the paint differences, the gold, metallic red, and I'm not going to lie, I dig them both. But I've said since TFCon, seeing this one on display, that I just prefer the normal plastic. But at the same time, somebody actually made the argument that, you know, this is more symbolic of the G1 Dinobots and stuff like that. And the toys have always had that metallic paint, gold plating. So I get it. You know, I can definitely see why somebody prefers that too. So I'm not saying one's good or bad. But anyways.
Let's turn them to the back there, as you can see. They both look like. Okay. Now zooming out, just real quick. We'll get both to the side. You can see the retail release of Columpio. Just had the see-through holes and stuff like that. The grid style packaging. While this one comes with the, well, I'd say more full on. They both have artwork, but this one's way more big. Takes up a lot more of the box. Shows him, shows the target master. And it also has a hand of the next bot. So you can tell that all of these boxes are going to go together too. And it has... flip up with the velcro and everything like that so in my opinion much nicer box but okay so we can focus on this version we are done comparing this now so we're going to move all this stuff out and once again major differences are the colors and the target mask so and I just threw stuff all over the floor but that's okay all right so Points of storage, of course he can hold the weapons in his hands. He does have the fingers that open. So if you want to put the sword in there, you can. If you want to put the gun in there, you can. Whatever you want to do. So he holds them fairly well. Make sure he's holding it in the front there. Gun. So just so you can see how those look. Okay. So. You could also store them. On either of his shoulders. Or one that's really cool that I like. Is. Hold his arm up so you can see. There's actually a storage point right here. So. You just have it on his back there. And from the back and stuff like that, it looks pretty cool to me. Alright, so... One of the major differences is, of course... Drape hand. So we're going to transform him. Really easy transformation, okay? So, flip the handle over. The arms come up, and there are two pegs right above the elbows here. They peg into those holes. So we're pegging those. I don't know what this peg is, though, like right on the side of his elbow. So I don't know if it's going to combine with other weapons or what, but, you know, feel free to speculate throughout your ideas. Now, each of these knees, you turn them so the knees are facing inside, bring it around. This part, the silver here, this goes, oops, it is tight, so, gotta deal with that. This part, did fall off, just peg it back on, no big deal, that's actually the first time that's happened, so, I'm just glad that it pegged on. Now you have two options here, and just so you know, these do tab, the two legs. All right, so slide, slide both the silver pieces upwards. Oops. There we go. I just had to get a proper lock. And there you have the axe. Or you can bring one side down and the other side over just a little bit. I'm just trying to get these because they do lock into each other. And you have a sword. I actually prefer the sword. But, since the axe is the more featured one, we will go with the axe. Alright. Now, as for the sword and shield, shield upside down, you want to make sure the axe faces to the left. It just tabs into the shield here. And the shield pegs into this hole right here. And 
and boom. Okay? And now just fit that into his hand. Close his fingers. And there you go. Now let's get him into a cool pose. Let's figure something out. Do it on the fly. Haven't really had a huge opportunity to play with him yet. Just got this in today. Um, yeah, let's see if this works. Not the best, but kind of a baseball slugger take on all comers ish pose there. There we go. How much of a difference just bringing the shoulders up is? All right. And there we go, man. That is Columpio Andre Pan. So, like I said, awesome set. I actually like the deco on this better with the colored plastics rather than the paint. And if you like it too, go ahead, order yours at tfsource.com. But don't forget, like this video. Tell your friends to watch these videos, subscribe, all that good stuff. And by all means, leave a comment because I want to know what you guys think as well. This has been TJ Duckett. See you next time.